move from the um, kind of a pattern at the level of the organism, meaning that how head to tail um, pattern is set up, or dorsal, or the back and tummy, how that's uh, determined. So how that pattern, which is kind of universal, which is present in the uh, in in uh, animals. Uh, so we will discuss how that is established. Uh, but in biology, you also see patterns um, like pigment patterns, right? Um, so animals have these beautiful uh, stripes. stripes, for example. Mm -hmm. And fish mm -hmm. has, has stripes, and uh, the, uh, tigers have stripes, and giraffe will have. I mean, these pigment pa patterns are quite fascinating. So we can also briefly discuss those kind of patterns, how they arise. Uh, and from there, one can then go to the cellular level, and we can talk about these micro patterns on the cell surfaces. I mean, if somebody had asked me what I would want to do after my tenth, I I still remember I wanted to be a chemical engineer because I was fascinated by the chemistry that time and you know, all these organic reactions. And, and then, <laughs> then I did my twelfth, and then I developed the interest in biology. I was fascinated by genes. Um, and so I decided to do um, microbiology uh, because that allowed me to do more basic um, biology.